Hey guys, Gaston with Rough Country. Today we're going to be installing our wireless airbag controller kit. Now we offer this as a standalone unit or you can purchase it with our onboard compressor kit. You can purchase this for stock or lifted applications and installation is very simple. Let's take a look at what's included. We've got the control unit itself with the push lock connectors already installed. We've got our fully integrated plug and play harness. We also include two different styles of fuse taps so you can tap into your fuse box for the keyed on portion of the harness. Mounting hardware for the control unit our wireless remote, and of course, our free app for your wireless device. These are gonna allow you to control each bag individually and digitally, whether you're inside or outside the vehicle. Today, we're gonna be installing the wireless airbag controller on our F-250. Now, we've already installed our onboard compressor and airbag system in a previous video, and you can check that link out in the description. Let's level up this airbag system and get our wireless airbag controller kit installed. Okay, we're gonna find a suitable place to mount the controller. We're gonna mount it here. It's close to the compressor. It's far enough away from the drive shaft. And we'll be able to tap into the lines that are already ran to the airbags and get everything situated. You're gonna to wanna to mount it flat, similar to this, or maybe even on its side. But there's an exhaust port here that you don't want pointing straight up because moisture can settle into it and it can compromise the unit. We've got self tappers provided with the kit. Go ahead and get those going. All right, that's secure. Now we'll start routing lines. We're gonna go ahead and take our feed line from the compressor. I'm gonna cut it because right now it's running back to the bags. Now we're just going to install it onto the manifold. Press it in, it locks in place. So that's going to supply our feed into our control manifold. Now we're going to take our lines from each individual bag and plug them in. Same thing, we're just going to press those into place. Lock them in. One. Now we just need to plug in our harness and let's go take a look at that. All right, here's our harness. Now this is the end that's gonna plug into the controller and we've got uh, four other connections that I need to explain to you. First off, we've got one labeled 12 volt. This is gonna connect directly to the positive terminal of our battery under the hood. Next, we've got one labeled ground. We're gonna ground this where we have our compressor ground underneath near the controller. One labeled compressor, this is actually our power to the compressor and that's simply gonna plug right into the compressor. And finally, we've got one labeled ignition. This will route to the fuse box in the truck and we'll use a fuse tap to connect it where the fuse for say the radio or something else that's gonna turn on when the key turns on. And uh, this is our inline fuse. We don't have to worry about that. We'll take this, get it all routed, and then we'll be able to plug in our controller. We've got our harness ran to the battery and to our ignition source. And now we're back under the truck and what's left to connect is gonna be our ground, which we're gonna ground at our compressor. We've got our compressor power that we'll simply plug in. And finally, we've got our controller plug that will simply plug into place on the controller. So I've removed the mounting bolt from our compressor, which is where we have our compressor ground to the frame rail. And I'm gonna slip that bolt through the eyelet of the ground for our control unit. Then I will reattach the ground for the compressor and put the bolt back in place. Let's connect our compressor power. Simply just slides into place here, just like that. And finally, we'll connect the power to the unit itself. All right, now we're ready to power the unit up and set up our remotes. Here we have the remote that's included with the kit. We'll press any button to wake it up and let it connect. Now it's connected, it's showing we have seven pounds in each bag. 
Uh, from here we can adjust both bags simultaneously or individually. I'm gonna press and hold the S button. It's gonna take us to first preset. We'll press that again. And now, channel one, channel two, that's gonna be our bags. And bump it up to 55 if you want to. Come down to this, adjust it up to 55 as well. It's gonna air both up to 55. hear the air being expelled and we'll hit S, jump over to the other bag, bring it down to 40. And that's the remote we include with the kit. Now let's take a look at the free app. Here's the interface for the app. We can go to settings and we can set our presets here as well. I've got preset one at 30, preset two at 55, Preset three at 75. Those are just random numbers. You can set it to anything you want. You can adjust uh, uh, pressure unit between PSI and bar. You can set your level of accuracy. You can go for a dark theme or a light theme. You will do your firmware updates and the interface is very intuitive. You can use the center to adjust both bags simultaneously. or you can use the individual sides to adjust for an uneven load. And also, here are your presets. Again, 30, 55, 75. It's really self-explanatory. It's a great user-friendly app. And it's free to download at both the Apple Store and off of Google Play. We include a QR code to scan with the instructions, and from there you can pull it right up, or you can search Rough Country at either store. As far as using the app or the supplied remote, it is an or situation and not an and situation. So if one's connected, the other one can't be. And that's how easy it is to take control of your airbag system and put it in the palm of your hands with Rough Country's wireless airbag control kit. I'm gonna mess around with this for a little while. You guys go to roughcountry.com and pick yours up today.